So now that we're in a new year, 2022, I figured that I'd make a video basically telling you guys what properties I think you guys should buy in GTA Online. So anyway, let's just get right into it. Now the first property that I'm going to talk about in this video is going to be The Office. Now The Office has been in GTA Online for many years, but the main reason on why you should still buy The Office in 2022 is not because of what you can do in The Office on, on its own, but more of the properties and businesses that you have access to if you buy The Office. Now in the office, you can become a CEO if you have an office and you can name your own organization wherever you want. But the main thing on why you should buy the office is because if you buy the office, you can buy a special cargo warehouse and a vehicle warehouse too. Now with the vehicle warehouses, it doesn't really matter which one you buy, but I highly recommend that you just buy the cheapest one. Because literally the only difference between all the warehouses are the location. Because all the warehouses can store 40 vehicles. So I think it's pretty pointless to buy an expensive one. You should just buy the cheapest one because the only difference is location. Now the next property that we're going to talk about in this video is going to be the agency. Now like I said in my last video, the only difference between the agency and the office is that in the agency you can launch different missions and that the agency is a little bit bigger and it has a little more features than the office does. Besides that, it's pretty much almost similar to the office, exactly. But the thing is with the agency is it's the newest thing that Rockstar added to GTA Online. It has a fun storyline with Dr. Dre's missing phone, with all of his unreleased music on it, and Franklin's in Online too, so I think all of that's very fun to do, especially in the new contract missions too. So that's why I recommend if you buy the agency. Now the next business that we're going to talk about in this video is going to be The Bunker. Now The Bunker has been around in GTA Online since the gun running DLC back in 2017. But the main reason on why I think you should buy The Bunker is not because of the manufacturing part of it, but more because of the research part of it. Now the thing with the research is if you do lots of research, you can actually unlock lots of cool items. You can unlock things like the missiles for the Oppressor Mark 1, and the explosive bullets, and the incinerary rounds too. If you get the bunker, I also highly suggest that you buy the mobile operations center with it too. Because in the mobile operations center, you can get the trade price for lots of vehicles with its missions, and you can also put missiles on vehicles like the Deluxo and others too. The mobile operations center also has the ability to put a weapon workshop in there. That way you can customize all of your weapons and make them better for PvP combat. Now the next business that we're going to talk about in this video is going to be the hangar. Now the thing with the hangar is I'm not really interested in the business part of the hangar because the business part of it is not really that good. You can spend lots of time doing the businesses for it, but you won't really get that much money for it. The main reason on why I suggest you buy the hangar is because if you don't have the hangar, you can't really buy any air vehicles in GTA Online. Most of the air vehicles in GTA Online require you to have a hangar in order to be able to buy them. So that's pretty much the only reason why I even brought the hangar in the first place. But if you are going to buy the hangar, I suggest getting the one at Fort Zancudo. Because if you buy the one there, you can actually access Fort Zancudo without getting a 1 level at all. So that's a little perk that comes with the hangar up there. The next property that I suggest you buy in GTA Online is going to be the nightclub. Now the reason why you should buy the nightclub is because it will give you access to buy the terabyte. And if you have the terabyte, then that will give you access to put missiles on the oppressor mark too. Now the reason is, even though most people hate the oppressor mark too, because it makes PvP unbalanced in some ways, people kind of like it at the same time because it's small and it can get you across the map fast enough. It can get you to your destinations in a quick amount of time. So that's why most people like the mark too. You can also use it for missions killing NPCs, which is why if you buy the terabyte, it will give you access to put missiles on the Mark II and therefore it will make that easier. Another reason why you should buy the nightclub is because it will give you access to business battles. Now the thing is if you don't have a nightclub and you do a business battle, the game will just tell you to drop off the cargo at some random location. If you have the nightclub, you can actually store up lots of the business battle cargo that you earn, then eventually you can sell it for a lot of money. So that's another reason on why you should buy the nightclub. Now the next property that we're going to talk about for this video is going to be the Casino Penthouse. Now with the Casino Penthouse, if you buy it, it gives you access to a whole new storyline with Ms. Baker and all of her other friends in the casino itself. But the main reason why you should buy the penthouse is because it just has a great design inside and it's good for having fun with all your friends and getting the whole lobby over to have a huge party inside the penthouse too. Now the thing with the penthouse is it's a little bit expensive too. But the thing is I think it's worth its price because of all the activities that you can do inside the penthouse 
and all the VIP things that it gives you down in the casino. So if you have lots of money, I suggest that you buy the casino penthouse. Now last but not least, the last property that you should buy in GTA Online is going to be the Kazaka, aka the Submarine. Now the thing with the Submarine is if you buy it, it gives you access to the Kale Perico heist, which was added as a DLC over a year ago. Now the thing with this Kale Perico heist is you can make lots of money with it if you're doing it with back to back with your friends. Like there's a back to back glitch with it where you can do it, then you'll give your friends 85% and then you will still keep the mission. So you can just keep doing that cycle over and over again. So that's actually a very effective way to make money with the Kale Perico heist. Some people may even call the Kale Perico heist the best heist ever added to GTA Online, but I don't really know if that fact is true or not. In my opinion, the Kale Perico heist is currently in tied with the Casino heist. I don't really know which is better, this one or that one. The submarine also has lots of cool features that you can do in it too. Like you can even drive the submarine. When the Kale Perico heist first came out, I thought the submarine was going to be just like the yacht where you couldn't really do anything in it. You can just fast travel. And I was wrong. You can actually do lots of stuff in it. You can actually drive the submarine. You can put it underwater. You can even shoot torpedoes from it. And if you customize it, you can even shoot missiles from it too. So I think that Rockstar did a very good job with the submarine. And if you have enough money, I suggest that you buy it. But anyway, that's going to be pretty much everything for this video today. Those are the properties that I think that you should buy in GTA Online at the start of 2022. I just thought that I'd make this video because we just got into 2022. So I thought that it was good to make a completely new guide of what businesses and properties that you should buy. Let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful or not. And anyway, that's going to be pretty much everything for this video today. And I'll see you all in the next one.